Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy Nguyen and today I'll be doing a full face of first impressions or close to full face of first impressions. Um, so all these products I bought and have not used them before until today. So we shall see how I like them. So stay tuned to see. But yeah, let's get started. Alright. So, the first thing I'm going to use my face that I don't believe I've ever used before is this the Ordinary High Adherent Silicone Primer. Just a white cream, kind of like texture. I'm just going to put this all over my face. And I believe these primers are super affordable too. I think this was like $4.90 for this little tube. Um, I've used a lot of the Ordinary's like other products. Like I use their toner and I use their serums and I really love everything. Everything's like super affordable and they work really well um, for my skin at least. I don't use this foundation either. Um, I kind of just bought just one shade on a whim and hopefully this is my shade. Um, it is in shade 2.0 YG. Um, it says light medium yellow undertones with gold highlights. Hopefully that is, um, I'm pretty good at color matching myself, but yeah, we'll have, just have to see with this. And I believe this is like less than ten dollars i'm pretty sure this foundation was like eight bucks um so yeah i am gonna use my beauty blender with this and what i usually do with foundations i just pump it directly onto my face so i'm gonna do that with this as well let's see okay um this looks like my shade so if it's not it will let's see okay so this is a pretty good match for me um it is a slightly lighter than what my chest is because I got like a really bad or <laughs> really uneven tan the other day. Seattle was in its high 70s, so I laid out and did my work in the sun and only one side of my body got a tan, so yeah. So this is applying really well so far. I'm actually rather impressed. It looks really good. It is, I'd say, like a medium um, coverage, and it's blending out really nicely. It has, I think, it's just as a high coverage foundation. It doesn't say what finish it has, but right now, it's just kind of looking like a satin finish. This looks really pretty. I actually really like this. It is, there is like a massive difference between like my chest, and my neck, and my face right now. But for most parts of my body, I'm like, I don't know. I'm gonna stick with it and hopefully I can bronze myself up to be darker. Or if anything, I just won't leave the house today. So I'm gonna apply some more. Um, it's blending out super nicely. It's covering all of my like dark spots, my red spots. And it's just looking super nice so far. And there's like no strong scent to it either. I know that like I really like the L'Oreal Pro Glow and Pro Matte series or their Infallible series in general. But it really smells like paint. This one doesn't smell like anything which I super appreciate because I really hate foundations that have a scent to them. But I guess I'll just have to blend this down my neck and hope for the better, you know. It doesn't look too bad when I blend it down. Um, and it's not cakey at all. I have some dry skin action going on around my nose and I covered it super nicely. It doesn't show that it's like my skin's like, you know, like when you, when you put foundation onto uh, like skin that's peeling, it starts to look really like textured or cakey, but not in this case. Let's see, I'm gonna blend this up into my ears as well. So since I haven't bought any new concealers lately, I'm just gonna go ahead and use my ColourPop No Filter Concealer, the one that I always use. It is in light 18. I'm just gonna use it for my under eyes. I saw that, um, let's see, Nikita Dragon just released a new, her own line of makeup, and I really wanna try her color corrector because sometimes like in my under eyes or just around my lips like it I can see things just I don't know peeking out a little darker and her color corrector seems to really be able to like fix that and just make your skin look super it says super dark just really brightens it and makes it look a lot more even 
I, I really want to try that in the future. Just blending out the concealer that's under my eyes. I'm just kind of dragging it out onto the top of my cheeks. Um, I really just like doing this because it really brightens my under eye up because I do tend to have some pretty dark circles as well. Okay, um, I'm going to just put some concealer on just the bridge of my nose as well. Just to have a really nice nose contour later. So the only new contouring product that I have is this Anastasia Contour Stick in the shade Mink. But I'm not really sure if this is like dark enough. Um, so you're gonna test it out. Oh no, my camera battery is dying. grayish but I don't know you can work with it so yeah let's try this out this is the Anastasia contour stick in the shade mink I'm just gonna apply a little bit on first because I'm not sure how this is gonna blend out um so yeah let's just see how this works super gray and I'm a little tanner so I don't want to really use something that's too gray because it'll just look make me look super ashy Let's see okay that's not too bad okay I think I can use this cool because I feel like this is the mini size I I think I've definitely bought this home once to try it and the larger version of it was not as blendable as this mini is so I'm kind of like wondering if companies like ever make their mini versions a lot better than their actual full size versions because this is like so much easier to blend out than I remember trying it before camera dies though hello I'm back um, my camera died so I just went ahead and did my brows off camera just because I was using the same product pretty much I ran out of like my benefit goof proof brow pencil so I just went and got a new one I uh, jumped from shade 3 the 3.5 now so those are all my brows um, used them before nothing new so yeah, um, and I did end up blending out my contour off camera too because my camera died right when I was just blending it out. So yeah, let's go in with some other things. Um, I think what I'm going to do next is bronze up my face. I remembered, well I did like a mini the balm haul and I could have sworn I bought a new bronzer but it doesn't seem to be in my package. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick to my Hoola bronzer and let's go ahead and apply that. Let's bronze up this face. Yeah, I really need to bronze up because I looked in the mirror earlier outside of my living room which has a lot more natural lighting and oh boy does my face look super pale compared to just like my chest pretty much. But, oh my god. But it's a, it's a pretty unfair comparison considering I don't tan my face and I got really burnt on my chest and shoulder. It's just applying this bronzer on like I normally would. Okay, this is my beginning little... I still want to go in with like another contour shade, so just to deepen up my cheekbones a little bit. So going in with my E48 brush, I'm just going to go in and dip it into this... I'm actually going to mix these two. I'm gonna use my um, 
my Beauty Bakery flour setting powder just to like bake my face. Go in there. Using a Morphe sponge, I'm using the sharper edge of the sponge to dip into the setting powder, and then running it down from the top of my ear to meet the corner of my mouth. And that will help create a very clean, nice cut contour line. It's a little crazy. I'm just gonna let this sit for a little bit. Then going back in with the Hoola bronzer, I'm going to contour my nose. flat Lorac brush that came with my Lorac contour kit. I'm taking the Hoola bronzer powder and just patting it on the sides of my nose using the edges of the brush. Okay, it's starting to look really dark. To a twirly, it blends out though. Here I took my JD Weighty Luxie Nose Contouring Brush and went back in with the Hoola Bronzer on the fluffier side and contoured the tip of my nose just to give it that uplifted look. And then taking the angled, the shorter um, angled side, going back in with the Hoola Bronzer, just cutting the tip of my nose to give the illusion that I have a really cute little button nose. More baking powder and just kind of shape my nose there. Taking the sharper side of the Morphe sponge, I dipped it into the setting powder and also set the bridge of my nose by just making a small straight line down the center of my nose. I'm just gonna leave this on for a wee bit. It looks a little crazy right now, but I'm actually gonna touch some setting room powder around my mouth as well since the foundation was just kind of like separating here a little bit since I added some concealer and I try to push some powder into the cracks yeah I'm gonna start buffing these areas out they look super perfect So I'm starting to notice that the foundation is kind of just starting to come off or just kind of like set into my fine lines. So Kevin got this for me for Christmas. I don't think I ever used this before, so the Huda Beauty ah, Emerald <laughs> Obsession. Brands making new. What color should I use today? I kind of just want something super simple. I think I'm just gonna go in with, let's see, this green shade right here. So what I'm currently doing is just packing the uh, green eyeshadow onto the center of my lids and just packing eyeshadow on there first and later going back in and blending out the edges so that just gives like a nice smoky gradient look. I actually really like Huda Beauty's eyeshadows. They're so easy to work with. This one's looking super pretty. I don't think I've ever worn just like green eyeshadow before, but I'm really digging this so far. To be totally honest, at this point, I'm just trying to play with the green eyeshadow and see where it takes me. But what I'm trying to achieve is a darker outer corner, and but really trying to diffuse the edges as well, so it just has a nice smoky look. I just really want a simple smoky eye. So right now I'm just packing the green onto my eyelid. And then slowly working in with it to like give it the same shape I did for my right eye. Hmm, kind of digging this. Okay, now let's blend out the edges. I'm just gonna use a fluffy brush to really blend those edges out. Just gonna go back and kind of darken the outer corner. 
give us some stuff. And I'm just gonna pick up some of like the glittery green color in the middle here, my finger, and just apply that to the center of my eyelids. Super pretty. I'm really digging that. Perfect. Now, taking a pencil brush, I'm just gonna like kind of line the bottom waterline with the same green color that we started out with. crazy now until I put some lashes on but let's get some eyeliner into that lash line this is another sample I got it's the Maybelline New York lasting drama waterproof gel pencil so I'm gonna use this and line my waterline with it Ooh, it's going on super smooth I just love it when eyeliners are just super smooth I'm gonna curl my lashes next. I actually do need to find a new eyelash curler because mine is <laughs> almost broken. It's too hard of a click and it's just gonna pop right off. This, I've never used Ico London before. This Ico London Lash Alert Mascara. It looks like this. It, <laughs> it's kind of cool. Let's see, it says, wake up your eyes with our fiber enhanced formula infused with caffeine, arginine, biotinoil, tripeptide, stimulate lash growth. Okay, I'm for that. All right, oh, it has like a curved little wand. Let's apply that to my lashes. Ooh. Wow, that is really lengthening. And it's like not clumpy either. Wow, this mascara is doing a really good job of separating my lashes while lengthening them at the same time. I always get mascara under my eyelid. Wow, it looks really good. Look at that. Look at the difference. I need to start using more drugstore mascaras. I feel that like I spend a lot on just like prestige brands. And neglect all of the good drugstore finds like this one. I like this one because it's curved and it gives it really lets me like really get into just like the roots of my lashes. That's ooh. that's really amazing. Wow. Actually I'm gonna apply some of this to my bottom lashes too. I think this is waterproof. I don't know, but I hope it is. Okay. Why can't all companies make like a curved wand? It's just so much easier to use. Let's put on some lashes. So I bought a bunch of these doll lashes and I'm really excited to try them because they look super long and they're by a brand called Doll Beauty. Let's try these lashes. This is the Doll Beauty Jasmine Lashes. This is so nice, they come in like a hard plastic case. You can see this being reusable too. So this is the Jasmine Lashes by Doll Beauty. They were 10 pounds. So I think they were like around $16 or something for these lashes. I think I don't know, $14 or $16 or something. That's gonna look really pretty. And I will definitely need to trim this too. I always have to trim my lashes just because I don't know whose eyes is are like that long to like never have to trim their lashes. Just using my normal duo glue. I guess in the meantime we wait for my lashes to dry. We can put on some highlighter. So here I have this um doll light duo i saw this on another youtuber and it just looked so nice it was available only in the 
UK, so I ordered it from there along with the lashes I just showed you guys. This is by Doll Beauty, and this is their like Supernova Champagne Highlighters. And some of the other girls that had these on looked, it looked so nice. It literally like, I don't know. It, I'm excited to try it. Let's just try it. Um, so this is what it looks like. Um, the size of champagne and the size of supernova. I think I'm gonna use supernova since this looks like, see, where's my usual highlighting brush? Can I see that? Look at that. I'm glowing. Let's see on the side. Oh my god. Oh, I've I've been so excited to use this and it's just it's living up to it. That looks so pretty. It's literally so bright. Love it. Apply it on the side of my forehead as well. Cupid's bow. Okay, let's get some on to my nose. Oh, I'm so excited. Wow. Look at how bright that is. I am living. I love this. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna put some on the corner of my eyes. That's so pretty. It has like a slight kind of like gold, like yellow gold tinge to it. This is so pretty. Apply some onto my brow bone as well. God, I'm running low on battery again. Okay. Let's try to get my lashes on. <laughs> Yay! This is looking so good. <laughs> and just look at this highlight. It's literally... <laughs> I love... Uh, nothing feels as good as discovering new makeup that you really like. I'm really digging this look too, honestly. Okay, let's quickly get some blush on before my camera dies. This is part of my little mini haul I did with the balm and they had a 50% off sale. So this is the Hot Mama. It's really a pinky, peachy color. I'm gonna use my Morphe E4. It's just like an angled blush brush. Dipping into that. Tapping excess off. Okay, I'm back again camera died for the third time and now we're back uh, with a little bit of battery so lastly I did my blush with the hot mama blush from the balm and it's looking really cute so really the last step I have to this is just applying lippy which I am oh so excited for I've been really wanting to try these out so this is the Huda Beauty um, power bullet oh my gosh ah. I've been really wanting to try these out, but they're so expensive. They're $25 a pop. But, and jump right into this. It is just so beautiful. Look at that. So these are supposed to be super pigmented. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna quickly exfoliate my lips real quick. And I have this e.l.f. lip exfoliator thing I like to use right before using any lipsticks. Now I'm ready. Moment of truth. Oh my god, I've been dying to try this out on myself. So it's supposed to be super pigmented, so it only really takes one kind of like swatch through to get like really full pigmented color. So let's see how this goes. So this is in the color Joyride. I picked this out because it's supposed to be like a really nice nude. It's almost like a my lips, but a little better. Um, let's see, I'm really afraid of like breaking it just because it's so pretty. Look at that. That's super pretty. 
and it goes with these eyes like pretty well it's like a really nice nude mauvey slightly kind of like a red toned nude oh, that feels so nice on the lips too so it's like a nice matte finish but it's very velvety it's not drying at all oh my gosh it's magnetic that is so cool oh, I really want more of these lippies now that looks really good so I have even more makeup I haven't gotten to try yet I also picked up the Estee Lauder double wear um, foundation the Mary Luminizer I have like this Bravo conditioning primer a Becca um, just like a Becca highlighter. I have like lipsticks. Um, still need to be tried. Yeah, I have just so much to try. I really want to do more of these videos too because it's just really fun being able to try different things on camera and just getting like my first reactions of things. Um, and I guess like one more thing that I can also try too is this Pacifica Island Vanilla Micro Batch Roll On Perfume. I don't know. It's like. I've never used this before, so I mean, first impressions, right? Uh, so it looks like this. It's really cute. Um, I think Pacifica is also a natural beauty brand too. I often see them in like Whole Foods. This is I hard to twist off. Hmm. Smells super nice. It's just very vanilla. -y. I'm just gonna tap some on my neck, rub some on to my wrist. Hmm, this is really nice. It just smells very, it smells like a cookie. I like that. Oh, I wish you guys could smell it. Um, so yeah, this is my sort of full face of um, just new things and first impressions. Um, one last thing we still need to do is just set our face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. I don't have any new setting sprays to try out, but this is and old favorite. I've been using this since high school and you know it keeps the makeup on so yeah overall very impressed with all of the items here um, I do still really like the ordinary um, foundation I still think it looks really good um, it could be like the spots that I was having issues with especially like underneath my eyes or around my mouth it could just be that this foundation doesn't go well with the ColourPop concealer so that's why it's acting up overall. The rest of my face looks really nice. It's not drying. I look just super smooth. It's um, it's, it's a buildable coverage, the full coverage. Like my face is at full coverage right now. Very impressed with this. I can see myself buying a darker shade too, just so I can match my tan, perhaps for Coachella or something. But for less than ten dollars, that foundation is great. I really like it. Also really love all the Huda Beauty products as well. I've always loved their products. Their eyeshadow is always like super pigmented and I'm super impressed with this lipstick. I do want more of them now. Um, and I do wish they had like more colors too. I'd really like to see some, I don't know, more brownier nudes as well as the pinkier tones they have. Um, and I want to see them in like coral and other colors too. I'm really excited to see maybe she'll expand her colors in the future, but I really want the rest of these. so. I don't know any Huda Beauty people out there get me on the promo list somehow because I really want to try their products and yeah the hot mama blush I really like this too it's a really cute kind of like a pinky peachy toned sh um, shade I see myself using this in the future the doll beauty highlighters I really love and I can definitely see myself using this in the future and I want more of them too what's with the UK having all these really cool indie brands that are not available in the US quite yet but yeah, I really like this. It's it's giving me like super Insta Glow Ho vibes. Um, we'll see myself using this for Coachella. I really like the Ico mascara too. I really like the curved wand, and not to mention it really lengthened my lashes out, making it look clumpy as well. Overall, yeah, all the products I used today, they're. None of them really misses. I like them all, so that's good. Yeah, thanks guys for watching. That was my full face of first impressions. Uh, if you like my videos, please do hit the subscribe button down below as well as give me a thumbs up. And yeah, stay tuned for more videos. Peace. <laughs> I look like a raccoon right now.